Hello, welcome. Can you hear me? Perfect. Thank you very much for that. Well, welcome to our uh, introduction to the social media toolkit. We are, this is Narendra Dhaniwal uh, with Tech, and I am super excited to welcome and have you here as we do this live demo um, for uh, the soft launching of the social media toolkit. So on the agenda today, we're just going to do quick introductions, give you a little bit of background, uh, how the social uh, media toolkit came about and the thought process put into it. Again, the live demo. Um, very uh, excited to have CTCP Media Unit talk about social media and uh, their uh, interactions and what they can provide uh, regarding social media. And then we'll open it up for questions and feedback. At the very end, I just want to uh, put it out there right now that we will have a very, very short survey. And I hope that you will click on that survey and take the survey for us. It'll take you less than five minutes, I promise. <laughs> so we have from the media unit, Elena Costa, who's our project consultant for the tech project. Jennifer Garcia will be representing the media unit and uh, doing the presentation from the media unit. Uh, for tech, we have myself, and then Matt Cherry, who is our amazing, and I hope you all agree with me once you see him take you through this journey with us today. Uh, he's our SMT online developer for this toolkit, and we're very thrilled and excited, so hopefully we, you will be as well. So a little bit of background. Um, the social media toolkit, we, we've been working uh, very closely with uh, CTCP and the media unit and uh, with our uh, developers that wrote the social media toolkit for us. And then, of course, Matt made it into this wonderful program that you're going to see online. This will be eventually available as a PDF, as a downloadable document. Uh, but collaboratively, the other piece that we did, we did do key informer interviews with several uh, folks in the field to see what is it that was needed? What what are people looking for when they think about social media? And you'll notice that this is really focused on Facebook as our very beginning stage for the toolkit. And as we this evolves and we move forward and we develop more, we'll look at other apps. Uh, you know, there's things like Twitter and uh, Instagram and Snapchat. Uh, but one of the feelings that came about or one of the feedback we had received was Facebook really is a go-to for a lot of LLAs, but also competitive grantees at this point. Uh, I think some of the competitive grantees are using Twitter and Instagram a lot more. So there's most likely some flexibility there. But this really is a how-to tool uh, to help projects and coalitions. So a lot of coalitions have members that are not, um, you know, they're not, they're not employees. They are grassroots folks. They are members of the general public that belong to the coalition and may not have uh, be as savvy with, with social media. And so this tool is designed to help those folks as we engage them more to build our Facebook sites. Um, therefore, it's for all funded agencies. And actually, it will, it will live on the tech site. So when we originally were working on this, there was a, there's a lot of um, information on here that is now very generic, uh, so that it can live on the tech site. And that way, if it's you know anyone else goes into it, there's no uh, confidential information available um, on this toolkit. So it's written in context and it's backed by research, and again, local experience and expert experience. So you'll see some examples from some of our local colleagues, and then also some expert experience, as you'll see in the examples. Um, and again, this is on a continual basis going to grow to meet the additional needs of everyone out there that will be utilizing it. So as you, again, this is a soft launch. When this is fully launched and vetted by CTCP, um, and we have the approval to go and put it completely live, uh, we would appreciate your feedback and your guidance on and your questions around any additional needs you may have uh, as we move this forward. So we are going to hand it over to Matt Cherry, who will take us through a live demo.
Hi, can everybody hear me? I'm just going to assume yes. Okay, great. Thanks, Matt Veer. So yeah, hi everybody. I just wanted to take a couple minutes here today to let me. Uh, not sure if you're seeing this, to show off the toolkit to you and some of the features. That way, you'll be a little more familiar with it when you uh, take it for a spin yourself. So uh, once you launch the toolkit, you'll come to the overview page here. If I bear with me here, oh. So I'm, I'm sorry about this, I'm a little stuck. Um, anyway, you can actually scroll down, for some reason I can't get this to it. You can actually scroll down and there are menu links or, or links to the various sections below the overview paragraph here, but the easiest way is to just kind of, hmm. For some reason, there we go. All right, but the easiest way is to just click the get started button and uh, so once you launch the toolkit, uh, you'll see that there's a menu over here to the left and you can click on any of the sections to just go directly to them by using this little collapse button here. You can actually expand and uh, you can actually expand and uh, collapse the menu. And so if I open that back up, you can scroll through the menu here, or um, alternatively, as you go through each section, you can use the scroll bar to just scroll through the various pieces of content. Uh, one of the things that's nice about each of the major categories in here is at the beginning of each section, you're gonna have this short minute or two long video that actually summarizes all of the topics within that category. So that's a nice little feature. Um, you'll also be able to see a bunch of videos of folks out in the field and how they use social media and what they think about it. Uh, a lot of engaging text and graphics. We define the various terms throughout the toolkit. Um, and as you scroll through each section, you notice that uh, there's a little tracking thing that will actually tell you as you've gone through each section give you a little check mark. And at the end of each section, if you wanna just go to the next one, you'll see a link that will just take you directly to the next section. And again, you can just scroll through the various topics. Uh, another kind of nice thing that we uh, incorporated into the toolkit is a lot of these real life examples. So we, um, you know, you can, not only learn about these topics, but basically learn how they're being applied out in the real world. Um, one other thing that I wanted to show you guys is if you would rather look for a very specific topic rather than go through each section, there's actually a search function here where you can just type in a keyword And then, as you can see, each of the topics will now show in the menu how many results came up with that particular term. And then you can click on that topic. And one of the nice things is that it highlights then within that topic all of the times that that particular term is talked about. Um, one other kind of key feature, if I close down my search term, is uh, one other uh, thing that I thought that I would let you guys know is that as you go through and go into some of these various topics, you'll see these click around sections too that are a little more interactive and you can just kind of click on things and learn more about various topics. But that's um, when you see this, this click around heading. One other last feature that I wanted to show you guys before I um, wrap up my quick little demo is that this uh, particular tool was optimized to be able to run uh, great on uh, a variety of devices. So I'm gonna actually switch over to my preview tool to show you how that works. 
But when I mean various devices, it'll work great on your PC, your tablet, your phone. It's really built with a responsive design. So I jumped over to my preview tool so I could show you a little bit about or how that works. But I can actually show you how as you go to the various devices, so I went to a tablet and portrait mode, the whole site kind of reconfigures to be optimally viewed on that device. Alternatively, if I show you the phone view, same thing, you know, the entire site kind of reconfigures. So, you know, as you guys might know, sometimes when you go to a website on your phone or your tablet, everything shrinks down, but not with this toolkit. It's really built to be optimally viewed on all of these various devices. Um, so that's really it. I think it's a pretty in intuitive tool to use, and we're looking forward to everybody diving in and, and hearing people's feedback. Um, not sure if anybody had any specific questions for me, but that's really all I wanted to show you today is just give you kind of a peek and show you how to navigate around the tool. So that's it for me. I'm not sure if I need to give you control back, uh, Narinder. Well, there we go. Uh, perfect. Thank you, uh, Matt. That was great. I know that was a very quick uh, live demo for you, but uh, we will we will ha we'll have some time at the end, and we're happy to take questions and maybe go back through it if we need to as uh, as time allows. So I would like to. Uh, Hand it over to Jennifer Garcia at the media unit. And, oh, oh. Hi there. Sorry, I was on mute. <laughs> My name is Jennifer Garcia, and I am a media specialist at CTCP. And I wanted to um, hop in here and um, talk about the type of technical assistance revolving social media that I can provide for you um, as our funded projects, our um, LLAs, and our coalitions. Um, first off, um, I'd like to go over um, one of the biggest questions that we get is, um, how do, first off, how do we get um, our social media platform approved? Um, in our in our um, program, in our public health offices, everyone throughout the straight state looks a little different. So um, these type of this type of uh, TA re probably requires a call or some um, email communication. Um, so feel free to give me a call or an email. Schedule um, schedule a call with me, and I'm happy to to hear you out in your very specific situation and then um, try to provide um, a consultation, try to provide um, some recommendations on how uh, we can help you get to where you want to go. Um, again, everyone looks a little different. Um, also, it's very important to have a social calendar review process as um, state-funded agencies. Um, social media is kind of a live animal. Um, and one post, you may mean well, you may think it doesn't mean anything, but it can mean completely different things to your target audience or some, um, anyone out there. So it's really nice to um, have a, very, uh, a set of review processes in place. And um, we have a very unique one here at TTCP um, that I can I can share that out with you or kind of hear out your very specific um, situation, whether you're um, a public health um, office or if you are a coalition. And I can de help you develop this review process to help you guys um, streamline your, your calendar development. Um, also, uh, a, a lot of you are working on, have very specific, specific objectives. And um, I'd love to, um, alongside with my colleague Courtney, help elevate those are objective, objectives. Excuse me. Um, through social media, it, it's free, um, or if you choose to put paid um, behind it, uh, whether if, if you're boosting a post or making an announcement or creating an ad, um, we can help you. 
um, figure out how to target your um, audience, whether it's uh, multi-unit housing dwellers. Um, and letting them know about a new policy or whether if it's um, uh, pu public officials that um, need to know about a, an ordinance that you want to pass. So um, I can definitely help you figure out how to specifically target those people so, so that your buck goes um, way further. Um, and again, um, I, I'm happy to, to um, help you um, identify who you should be targeting or how to elevate your social media presence um, in a very strategic manner. Um, so that is me. And if you don't mind, um, the next slide, please. Uh, I'd like to announce that I will be presenting at the project's meeting November 28th and 29th. Um, we will have an, an hour. We will go, be going over, um, the details are still in the works, but we will be going over um, calendar development as well as um, budget and targeting on Facebook. So how to really um, get very uh, local, how to um, get very hyper-targeted -tar towards your audiences um, on who you want to reach. Um, if whether you have five dollars to spend or even organically if you don't have any money to spend there's little tips and tricks that you can do to get your message out there um, whether if your goals are to grow your social media presence um, or grow your page or get an announcement out there to um, to people um, my contact information is on this slide um, as well as Courtney Cicado as uh, much as much of you have uh, probably heard from her. She um, is um, stepping in for Amelia, and um, she is here to help you. So you feel free to email both of us or one of us, and we will get you to we'll get you the help that you need. Um, this is very exciting. Uh, we are super excited for this um, for this toolkit. Uh, uh, we are playing inside of it, and we're. We love it, so um, we hope that you guys feel the same way, and we're open to your suggestions and um, and questions that you may have. Yeah, and I just wanted to note, hello everyone, this is Courtney. We're also having um, an LLA roundtable at the projects meeting, so uh, all projects, excuse me, um, all projects roundtable, so if you have any questions or concerns, you'll have a chance to talk with us during that time, too. Cool. So, and this is Elena Costa, and I think we're going to turn it back to Narinder and folks at Tech. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much, Media Unit. Thank you, Jennifer, Courtney, and Elena. We're very, very excited. We're actually going to take us back a step to the social media toolkit and uh, take a little, a few minutes to actually show you the different sections of the the toolkit. And just to tag on and, and take a, a note uh, from, from Jennifer, we Tech will have a booth at uh, the projects meeting, and we will have a laptop and screen available there for folks that want to come and interact and jump on the site while we're there. And if they have any questions, we're happy to help navigate through. Uh, obviously, this will be available way before then, but I'm happy to, uh, we'll be happy to show folks through, and we'll have some other exciting news to share as well, and we'll also be having um, uh, plenty of folks there to be able to navigate and help answer questions folks may have. So uh, thanks, uh, Matt, for showing this. So you'll see the introduction. As you go through the introduction, there's uh, different sections. What is social media? So, uh, Matt, would you click on what is sh social media? Just again, I know you've done that before. Um, for the sake of streaming, we're not playing the videos, but once it's a, this is available, you'll be able to click on the videos, and the videos are anywhere from one to two minutes, a couple of minutes, uh, if that. And then after what is social media, we have what can social media do for you? If you want to scroll down, Matt, that would be great. And then we can go to introduction to social media platform. 
who I like this because it's like, should we tweet? Should we Snapchat? You know, what media should we uh, be thinking about using as we're engaging our local communities uh, into social media and into what we're doing? Social media strategy. So there's going to be many tools available. You know, one of the things that you, as Jennifer, I'm so excited that Jennifer's going to have a, a media uh, breakout session because, you know, we really need to think about doing this strategically and thinking about which target audience we want to reach, um, strategizing, utilizing the logic model, as Matt's going to click on. You know, what are you thinking about using or talking about one particular problem? It could be more, not problem, but one area to address. It could be multi-unit housing, it could be smoke-free parks, it could be retail licensing. So you want to think about what is, your, what is it, your message, your key message that you want to get out, and what kind of resources do you have in place? What do you need? Whom do you have? So those are all things you want to think about. So perhaps we can just go to the nine tips for creating a social media strategy, Matt. We can scroll down through that. I think sometimes, I know for me in particular, we always say we want to do this and this and this and we want to do everything all at once. And I think with social media, we really want to stay focused and think about what is it that we want to do, what area do we want to address, and strategically plan it out. And then move on to your next uh, idea that you want to work on. About allocation of resources, that's a really good one to think about. I know Jennifer discussed that earlier, right, beginning with a budget. One of the, the thought processes behind this toolkit was for to make this as accessible as possible and, and know that really when utilizing this tool and thinking about outreaching on Facebook, if you do not have the funds to you know, boost or to pay, that there's so much more that can be done with very uh, small amounts of money, limited staff time, and uh, can you click on that? Um, sorry, staffing and managing social media. You know, wh whom do you have that can do this? How much time do they have? Uh, how much do you want to engage some, you know, the, the community in, in your messaging? And knowing there's pros and cons to having somebody that you're, you've got employed to do this and, and utilizing your coalition members to do this as well. How about budgeting for ads and promotional content? I feel like I'm on a talk show or something. How about... How about cost uh, of ads by platform? And then, um, how about nine tips? Nine tips to guide your policy. So embedded in the toolkit, there are um, appendices that you can click on that will give you the tools as far as we talked earlier about strategizing. Oh, thank you, Matt. I don't know if you want to click on that. That would be great. So 
So if you click on it, you'll be able to utilize these tools to help you plan out your whole strategy and your plans for media, or social media, I should say. And then you've got getting, getting or giving approval. I know Jennifer touched on this a little bit as far as thinking about within your organizations, what's your capacity, what are you allowed to do, not allowed to do. So this, this toolkit, these sections will kind of discuss that as well in thinking about uh, moving this forward and going live. And then I, I feel, can you click on giving approval, managing your co uh, coalition's social media? Again, you really want to be mindful of whom do you allow to utilize your Facebook and log in to uh, put messaging out. You know, you want it to be clear, concise, consistent, um, and making sure that it's, uh, again, within your purview of what you want out there. This site belongs to you and it represents you. So that's something that we want to be mindful of. Uh, building your community. So this talks about, you know, online community, online communities and, you know, sharing, messaging. Um, what's great about Facebook is you can also take other messaging that have, has been put out, for example, you know, tech.org might put something out and you might want to share that. Or many of our statewide colleagues have uh, messaging that they put out and CTCP themselves that we can kind of just reuse and put out there so we're not reinventing the wheel. One of the other things I wanted to yeah, uh, bring your attention to is the crisis plan, the social media crisis plan. Do you have a crisis plan in place? What happens when somebody puts something on your Facebook that really uh, has nothing to do with your scope of work or your messaging that you want to put out or people are trolling. A good example is, you know, especially with the electronic devices and the folks that are saying, no, they're safe to use. And if you may put some mes messaging out there around that, you want to make sure that you don't get into any altercations online with people that are posting and perhaps just remove those posts. So just this is a really great section to think about social media that's put there that you don't want there. Well, how about storytelling? So again, while you're putting your messaging out, you want to be mindful that you this is where you want to engage the community, the online community, and engage them in a positive way. And you'll see Matt's clicking on different, you know, practical advice, educational content that reveals or shares new information. Um, and then practicing small moment storytelling. Matt, can you click on uh, visual posts? Or so that's a good point. It turns out that 90% of uh, the information that we remember is rooted in visuals. So it's really good to keep that in mind as we make posts and try and keep a visual post there. Gives you some areas that you can visit some sites to get free materials. And then video posts. Would you click on calls to action, please?
Social media is a great way to utilize uh, it for call to action. Maybe you're organizing an event and you want to get people to your event, you know, start promoting it earlier on through your sites. Whom are you using to engage uh, which particular part of the community in, in your local community? Are you thinking about youth? Are you thinking about adults? Are you thinking about a specific pocket area within the community that's a, a different geographical region? How do you engage those folks? So thinking about all of those areas when you put out calls to action. How to build followers. So there's a whole section on how to build followers. Again, engaging the community. And then advertising to attract followers. So as far as technical assistance when it comes to social media, we are happy to, uh, sorry Matt, uh, let me just finish that off first, I, I apologize. So if you'll see, there's a whole evaluation section at the end, and the evaluation, as we all know how important evaluation is, it, why does it matter? Do you want to click on that, Matt? So we really want to think about, and you will have media plans um, in your projects as we do, is to think about what, what information do we need to collect as we're utilizing our social media so that we can see is this really working for us is social media working and what what do we what's working what isn't working and what changes do we need to make and so you'll see reporting out on your data um, and learning from uh, the evaluation components and modifying your social media as you go through it so again tech can help you uh, with your social media obviously it's available it will be available on our site we, I know we have done some in-person trainings for coalitions. We really do not have the capacity to continue to do that. So one of the things that we are working on is creating uh, webinars that we'll be a, you'll be able to use and again, obtain through our website and uh, help you with social media when you're thinking about engaging your coalitions. We will, uh, by the end of this week, have available social media library that has uh, the media so the media that has been put out by CTCP media unit there are so many hundreds of images that are available there are guidelines as to how you can utilize them and what you can do to them you know how you can manipulate them which is very very limited but they are amazing graphics and that have already been fully vetted by CTCP media unit and available on tech site we'll make an announcement in partners that should show up on Monday and we will also have a library of posts that will be made available within the coming month uh, that you can utilize as far as if you're thinking about a specific campaign, you can take specific messaging that we will have available on, on Tech's website and you can just plug them into your uh, Facebook pages. Thank you, Matt. We're actually going to take it back to uh, our presentation. Matt, thank you for walking us through that. And uh, we will open it up for, I believe, questions. So we're going to open it up for questions and feedback. And I believe that uh, you should all be unmuted.
Sorry. Okay. So the toolkit will be made available on the tech website. So this should be made available by the end of October. Once uh, final approval has been received through CTCP. Uh, the, on the home page, you will find a link that will take you to the site that houses the, the toolkit. Perfect. So if there are no other questions, we want to take a moment to thank you for your time. I believe you should get uh, a link to... Oh, there it is in the chat box. There's a link to the survey. If you would please take a few moments to take the survey before you get off the uh, webinar, we would really appreciate it. And again, if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to myself or Simran, uh, you can find us through the tech website and uh, you can get my contact through the CTCP's uh, contact information as well. Evaluation tools should be embedded within the toolkit. So uh, I believe so, Diana, um, but if not, we, we can address that. We will also be posting on InfoHub as a follow-up. So please uh, check that out, check the link out for InfoHub and that will be posting continuously regarding the social media toolkit, when it's gonna be available, what's available through it, so that you will uh, all be kept up to date on that. So Raul, social media crisis, I believe there are examples that are embedded into the site. So once it's available, we, uh, sh you should be able to click on that and uh, take a look. There are videos as well that are embedded into the toolkit that discuss this. So our colleague Sowing will also send the survey link out to the registered participant. So if you want to get off, please feel free to. You'll get an email that will take you over the link that will help you. Uh, hopefully you can fill out the uh, questions for us. The actual toolkit, while it's uh, built uh, for tobacco messaging, obviously, but the guidelines and the process, you can utilize it for any type of messaging. So really the tools that are available, um, the, the handouts that are available uh, within this toolkit can be utilized for any type of messaging, Raul. Thank you, Diana. We're so excited to unveil this and, uh, you know, having worked with the CTCP uh, media unit and fellow colleagues in the field, we, we're really, really excited. I think once it's made available and it's out there, you, you're going to enjoy using it. And again, it will be updated on an ongoing basis. So this is the very first component we chose Facebook. As we move through this process, we'll be identifying what's the next uh, social media arena that we want to work in and, and build out as far as utilizing for the field. So thank you all again. Have a great rest of your day. Hopefully you can use the extra 20 minutes that you have freed up from this webinar. And we really appreciate you taking the time.